Hello everyone, this is Nelson's TV of Denmark. Nelson's TV 2 of Denmark, guys. And today we are going to make a reaction to this video. Oh, we are going to the land of the rising sun, by the way, guys. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Konbanwa guys, once again. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. So so Yoroshiko. Yeah, I was a bit uh, in a hurry. Yeah, but yeah, so yeah, I got I'm just excited. Then I'm just sitting here. Yeah. So well anyway. Don't know what to say. Yeah, well anyway guys, <laughs> that was uh, a bit uh, quick. But uh, we are going to make to uh, it's a quick version. <laughs> yeah. We are going to make a reaction to this video, the giant underground tunnels protecting Tokyo from floods. This is an amazing, uh, okay. yeah, I think this is also a very informative video of Mr. Tom Scott, a YouTuber named Tom Scott. I think he's from Australia. So we will watch this video. I think this is very interesting to know, you know, this uh, giant uh, tunnels from Tokyo. So let's get started. Is built around and over rivers. When you travel around here, it is striking just how often you cross water. And from up above, you can see this whole area is flat, low lying coastal land. Some parts of Tokyo even sit below sea level. They've sunk because of decades of pumping out groundwater. The two and a half million people in those low lying areas are protected by a network of floodgates and aging levees, which will be fine unless sea levels rise. But even inland, a huge part of this mega city is built in river basins and floodplains. And as the climate breaks down, rainstorms here are getting more intense and more frequent. If you want to prevent river flooding or drain neighborhoods that are starting to flood, where do you put the water? If you pump it out of that neighborhood, you're likely just moving the flood next door. The best plan would, in theory, be to pump the flood water all the way to the ocean, or at least to a tidal river that can deal with it. But for that, you would need tunnels and buffer tanks on an almost unimaginable scale. Now, despite what some breathless blog posts might claim, the whole metropolis doesn't have that. But there is one place, about an hour north of the center of Tokyo, that does. This is the metropolitan area outer underground discharge channel, or at least one part of it, the holding tank. It is almost impossible to convey the scale of this on camera. A tunnel? It's, wow, this is uh, very interesting. Uh, very, it's like, it looks like it, it's a uh, you know, building uh, in... Wow, amazing. Mm -hmm. Japan is a really genius. <laughs> so it must have been expensive also. Yeah, also it's very, very expensive to have you know, this uh, uh, one. いる地域になりまして、こちらの施設ができる前についてはえっとそちらの中小の河川から洪水量が溢れて広い範囲で浸水を起こしていたということがあります。こちらの地域に流れる中小河川の水を地下の放水路にトリオしまして近くにある大き
for the yeah chip. because think of all the damage if yeah. this all this water yeah. could do mm -hmm. so but this is a you know amazing uh, uh, 20th century that was when the japanese government was spending money to finance enormous infrastructure projects like this to try and stimulate the economy which for long-term security is great mm -hmm. But it took a national recession to make this happen. A plan like this only works if a government wants to spend a colossal amount of money. And in the 21st century, there aren't many governments willing to do that. Thank you to all the team here for letting me down in the tank and up okay, on... Okay, that was it. That's all right, okay. This is, okay, this is a very short video, but it's yeah. amazing, uh, amazing video that, uh, you know, uh, this kind of... Uh, uh, infrastructure uh, found in Japan. Yeah, yeah, I, I, and I guess it's not the tourist destination, so. <laughs> no, I don't think so. It's a tourist destination, but it's amazing that uh, you know he make this video and we can see it. That, yeah. And uh, wow, it's amazing. And mm -hmm. guys, it's very something, expensive. Uh, maybe to learn from. Yeah. If in other countries, but uh, yeah, it is expensive. Yeah, so. I th I think other but countries. I think in the long term, mm -hmm. uh, it's. Uh, Investment. It's a good investment. Yes, yeah. very good investment. If you have, if a country like, for instance, Japan, if you have the the money, so why countries not? like uh, my country I and my think. country, our country here, those countries close to the sea. Yeah, I think uh, Denmark uh, can afford having this kind of of uh, of. Uh, yes, of, yeah. it would be a good idea yes, if yeah. your country also could afford but this. We but don't uh, have money. We have uh, we owe a lot of money. <laughs> Huh. And then if we will make this, you know, imagine billions, not just uh, Philipp, uh, Philippine money, it's dollars. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't think we have that, we have, uh, we have that uh, money and uh, it's very expensive. So. Maybe it would be a bit cheaper to do in, in the Philippines, but because of the lower salary, I guess. I don't know, but probably the, uh, you know, stuff you are going to use. Yes, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is, concrete or whatever it is yeah. <laughs> you use. Yeah, but amazing, you know, amazing uh, infrastructure. Mm. Yeah, so well, anyway, guys, thank you for watching our action video. This is a very informative video. Amazing, you know, to know that there's, uh, you know, this kind of uh, infrastructure found in Japan, Tokyo. So, and that's all for now. And thank you for watching our action video. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Bye-bye. Sayonara.